Hey, I'm Wes Rocker, and I finally did it. I put these babies in. Finally figured it out. So, what I did was, I had this Squire PJ bass. Um, I needed a P bass for my band. Um, we needed more of a P bass type of a sound. So, I have like nine bases. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a P bass. So I bought this Squire. I was just looking for a mid-grade cheap bass, P bass style bass, but I I played this Squire and I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with the way it played. It didn't sound bad to me either. So I bought it and what I did was I sl slowly started to upgrade some of the things that, I, um, you know, my preference. I put this badass bridge on it. It's actually an Omega. Um, same thing. And then um, the pickups needed to go uh, because I just wasn't getting enough. I knew I could get more from these pickups. And my band is like a rock punk band, so I needed the power. And, and I needed, I, I just needed to get frequencies that those um, stock Squire pickups weren't giving me. So I got the EMGs, the Geezer Butlers. Um, I got a great deal on them. They go for like 180 bucks, and I live in New York, so you can imagine. Just figure, just say 200. I got these for um, under 150 bucks uh, off of Reverb. So I put them in, and it wasn't easy. Uh, it, it took me like four times taking it apart and putting it back together, taking it apart, putting it back together. Then this guy on the bass player page, he said, Rob Anthony, he says, um, thanks, Rob. He says, dude. The, maybe you have one of them backwards, one of the pots backwards, and he was right. I took it apart again, took all the screws out, went through the whole took the strings off, blah blah blah, and he was dead ass right. And once I did that, it just everything worked perfectly. One of the things that immediately struck me was how quiet these pickups are. The volume is up. I got my hand on the strings. You don't hear nothing. I let go. They're so quiet, right? So what I'm gonna demo this through is my Tech 21 Ultra Bass. I have everything at 12 o'clock, really. No, dr the drive is engaged, but it's so little that you, uh, to me, I could barely hear it, right? So um, I'm just gonna walk through just a couple of things just so you can hear it. Again, the bass isn't set up properly. I lost my intonation and everything once I started tearing it apart a million times. So, um, but I just wanted you to hear them so you know really quick because i'm blown away i'm so happy i did this i want to put them in all my bases actually i got this jazz bass this uh, getty lee jazz bass that i'm thinking i want to put these in too i don't know because i just want to keep it the way it is if it's good enough for getty i figure hey it should be good enough for me right so um so let's let's hear so what i'm going to do is you're going to hear the p bass uh pick up first i'm going to turn down the bridge and um, so I got it full up volume for the P bass, and I got the tone at about halfway rolled in. Okay, so let's see. And uh, I'll play it with my fingers for a while. To, uh, I'm not much of a slapper, but I know a lot of guys do it, and uh, so just to give you an idea, I think these EMGs, even though it's Giza Butler on on the cover, I think these EMGs can um, can hold up. It would be fine, okay. I think some guys might find it too, it's too aggressive for slap, but I don't know. You be the judge.
slapper. So um, here's the bridge pickup. <laughs> It's just like my go-to thing every time I pick up a bass. So now I'm going to use a pick. Oh, that's the bridge pickup. Do that again with the, the P bass pickups. them I recommend them all that stuff I I'm in love with them so once I get the space set up my D's a little dead once I get it back up and get some better lighting and I'll turn up a little bit more because it's kind of early um, for the neighbors and um, I'll make another video a better one until then I'm Wes Rocker and I play bass